Crazy journeys with Didi. Crazy journeys with Didi. I wanted to share something from my childhood with you. And it has to do with my mom. And you're seeing pictures, beautiful pictures of my mom right now as I'm talking about her. And one night when I was about five years old, there was a really bad thunderstorm. I kept asking my mom questions about rainbows, like how come there's not always a rainbow after it rains? And I was just going on and on and on with all these questions about the rain and thunder and the storm and rainbows, which inspired my mom, who's very creative with writing, to write a story for me about rainbows, trying to answer all these questions I was asking that night. So... I'm going to share it with you. And before I get started with her story, I want to say thank you to all my friends and family who sent in beautiful pictures of rainbows because you're going to be looking at the rainbows as you're listening to the story. And at the end of the video, I will have a list of credits of everyone who sent in pictures and were a part of this story because without any of these pictures of the rainbows, I wouldn't have been able to put this project together like this. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends and family. And now here is my mom's poem that she wrote for me when I was about five years old called Tell Me Why. As the rain fell from the sky, a little girl asked this why. Why does it rain so hard, mommy? Why can't it rain softly? Why can't it rain with the sun? Why? Why can't there be a shower at this hour? I'd like to look up high and see a rainbow in the sky. Mommy, tell me, does God have special supplies? Does he use them when he paints a rainbow? How does he make the paint flow? What holds the colors in a curve line? How does it always come out so perfect and fine? Why can't the rain always bring a rainbow? Oh, I think it's such a pretty thing to show. Does God have a box of special supplies, like I do in school? Or does God use a special tool? Mommy, tell me, how can God draw so nice and pretty? How does he make the colors so soft to see? Oh, Mommy, please tell me. Well, Deanna, a rainbow is special. It's handled with care so that when you look and see it up there, it will help you think and wonder of its why. Perhaps I can answer your questions. At least I'll try. Tonight it's raining hard, but it will stop soon and you'll be able to see the moon. But long ago, it rained for a long time without stopping. Yes, The rain fell. It kept dropping. You see, God was unhappy with man, and so the heavens cried. And before the clouds were empty, most everyone died. But a man named Noah and his family floated on an ark, like the boats you see at the park. They were very special, and so God kept them dry. You see, he didn't want them to die. Noah kept all the animals inside the ark safe and sound because there wasn't anywhere else to go. There wasn't any ground. All the people except Noah and his family had made a mess of things here on earth. That was why God wondered about man's worth. Well, after the hard rain washed the world clean, its job was done. Their ground dried and the animals were free to run. The birds flew into the sky, out came the sun. God made a promise to Noah and all of man right then. He promised not to ever flood the world again. He'd find other ways to let man know when he was sad. You see, he knew even then, man would forget and be bad. Well, he promised the rains would always stop and the sun would shine. Noah and his family thought this was just fine. Now when God makes a promise, he leaves a sign for us to see. When he made this promise, he put this sign for you and me. Deanna, God's supplies are different than yours in school, but he doesn't need a special tool. You see, God's supplies are heavenly, perfect and fine. That's why he can paint a curved line. That's why the rainbow is always so soft to see. He wanted you to wonder about it and ask me. So remember, a rainbow isn't just a pretty thing in the sky. A rainbow is all the answers to your why.
A rainbow is a reminder. That's why we don't see it every day after the rain falls. It's like a special treat, like when an old friend comes to call. A rainbow doesn't stay in the sky very long, just long enough to fill our hearts with its special song. A rainbow is a memory to keep and to hold. It's a memory of a promise God told. Yes, Deanna, a rainbow is a reminder to shape up and live right. A rainbow makes us think of how we can love and not fight. A rainbow is big. It crosses the sky. A rainbow reminds us to try. A rainbow makes us feel good inside. It makes us smile. A rainbow does all this in just a little while. And because it doesn't stay long, we run to see it hanging so high. A rainbow stays just long enough to leave a why. After it's done that, God erases it from the sky. Is there a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, like the stories say? No, the rainbow's treasure is found in how we live each day. I wanted to share that with everyone because I feel like this is something everyone should hear and also see these beautiful rainbows of all these lovely pictures that my friends and family sent for this project. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day and please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Crazy journeys with Didi. Crazy journeys with Didi.